Hi guys, today's May 1st and I had actually planned to do my first garden tour, but of course being in that cold climate zone 3, we've had a snowstorm for the past two days. It's been beautiful, it's adding some much needed moisture to the garden. But I did put a little damper on the whole garden tour idea, but I do want to show you how the seedlings are growing in the greenhouse as well as a peek inside. And I will take you out into the garden so we can see if any of those seeds have sprouted yet. So I've had the heat on in here full time for the last couple of days and it stayed pretty warm. Right now it's pretty hot in here actually. I think we got sitting at 25 back there and I'll have to check my little switch bot down there, but it's pretty warm in here. As you can see, everything is growing really well. Yarrow. These are some of the brassicas. They got a little bit frost damaged earlier, but they've come around, got some cabbage there. The celery and onion are looking really good. I've actually been taking the celery and onion and hardening them off, although they've been inside the last couple days. But I'm going to continue that process here and they're going to get planted in the garden this week. Let's stick you guys way up here. You can see we've got some herbs, some cucumbers. I had to reseed because some of them died from frost. The catnip and anise hyssop also got damaged by the frost. They're hanging in there. Bought myself a lemon balm and then just some more seeds that have been started. I've been up potting all the tomatoes. Whole bunch most of them are actually inside these are just all a bunch of extras out here and then you can just see all the herbs and everything a bunch of basil right there lavender it got frost damage too but it is coming back some calendula and these are all my squashes that i started so when i had my propane heater grow out and everything frozen here i had just planted them like the day or two before so i wasn't sure if they got frozen or not and i thought okay nothing's sprouting they probably got frozen i'm going to start some more and then the next day so this has been a couple days ago they started to sprout not everything is sprouting but we've got some sprouts there some coming up there and then if we look down in there we've got some sprouting as well I did replant some of the things that I really, really want to get and we'll see if they catch up and surpass or if any of these other ones are gonna decide to sprout. There's the milk thistle and a few more things over here. Just kind of struggling along. I'll get you guys kind of the full shot and you can see the chaos that happens in the spring in a greenhouse. Seeds started there, buckets and pots everywhere. It's been a really good place though. It's nice just to hang out in here and be with the plants and start all the seeds. And then we'll go out here and we can see what's been started. Now this was all totally covered in snow, big fluffy flakes this morning. But we go into this bed, now that everything's melted, it's nice. And you can see that we actually got the garlic coming up here. You can see that's the garlic there coming up. Now there should be a whole row of them. Not a lot of them have come up, except we do have couple more here on this side. So I'm hoping more of them start to pop up, but either way, I'm just really excited to be getting some garlic out of the raised bed. Again, those were planted last fall and they overwintered because that's how you get your biggest garlic. You can plant them in the spring. If you haven't planted it and you want to, you can plant them. You will grow garlic. It just won't be as big as the stuff you plant in the fall. And over here, this is some chamomile that I started way at the beginning of the year and I had it hardening off, ready to plant it. I never got it planted. It was fully snowed on this morning, but I'm not worried about it. It's just gonna come right back once that sun comes out. Same with this catnip. This is some lettuce I hadn't transplanted yet. And then this is a little hens and chicks that were transplanted. And now we'll go check out the bed where I had planted all those seeds last week before the snow hit. Now again, I'm not complaining about the snow. It has just really got a lot of water and moisture into the bed. I did notice some of my seed, little seeds have washed up. Like this here is a radish seed. so. If I notice that, it's no big deal. I'm just going to go ahead and put that back in the ground and it's probably will still sprout. Then we have the peas and the spinach and lettuce. And again, I don't see anything really popped up. Oh, wait, here. Here is, this is the radicchio, which I believe is how it's properly pronounced, radicchio. And we've got a couple of sprouts there. And I can actually tell those are them because that is in the pattern of where I seeded them. Of course, there's nothing for the carrots because they take forever to come up. But looking at the weather forecast, it's going to get bright and sunny and warm here. So now everything, I'm sure, is just going to explode. Like if you look up at the trees here behind me, and I'll turn you around, and you can see over here, there's just a light bit of green as they're all starting to leaf out. So within the next week, this is all just going to be green and beautiful. Down here, this is a perennial bed. The onions are just doing fine. They did not mind snow. I actually have a funny picture I'll throw up of this guy covered with the snow. It reminded me of a hedgehog, kind of like an onion hedgehog. I'm pretty sure most of my rose bush died. You can see a little bit on the bottom there. It's green. 
So the, it will probably grow back from the roots. It's just not gonna be really big and beautiful and bushy. I'm gonna try to get it to grow as best I can this summer. And I think next winter, I'm really gonna mulch it, maybe wrap it in burlap to try to protect that upper part of it. And there's nothing coming up yet for the thyme or the lavender. I did get a nodding onion to come back though. So that's kind of neat. Nothing yet for the lemon balm, but over there, I'll take you around. We got something. <laughs> And here I did trim up the cherry tree too on the way down I'll show you and you can see too green just there on the bud they're going to be leafing out really soon I trimmed a ton off the bottom and I left as much as I could on the top and we'll see how many blossoms we get this year but we'll go around here and you can see this is the wild bergamot or bergamot and it has just come back really well I have a feeling it's going to be kind of like the catnip where it's just going to be a super hardy. Got a nice covering of snow on the strawberry asparagus patch. My job this week is to get in here and clean it all up because the strawberries are starting to grow. The asparagus, I was like, where is it? Where is it? And then just a couple days ago, I came in here looking. And if you look way down in there, there is, there it is. There's, there's the asparagus there. So we're going to be getting asparagus here in the next week. I'm sure with this moisture and then the nice weather coming. And then over here, this is my little bit of a disaster. I had planted a whole bunch of starts in here. Now these starts have been through the ringer. They were frozen there and then I left them outside in tiny little pots and they were barely hanging on. And then about three days ago, maybe four now, I planted them in all these beds. And then of course we get snow for two days. So I'm not even sure how these are gonna do. I'm documenting their whole journey. We'll see if they can pull through from the latest thing that's been thrown at them. I do have hopes because so far they've just been little survivors. They're all cold hardy things like lettuce and broccoli and cabbage and all that kind of stuff. Like look at this guy. He was buried pretty much up to here yesterday. I have pictures and I'll show it. But I can tell because this is still pretty firm that he it's going to be fine. It's just probably like, yay, I got some moisture. Some of these other ones that were smaller might not. But again, we'll see. A lot of times they just want to grow, guys. And over here again, these guys, this is pretty much what it looked like when I put it in. So it's not like it got damaged from the snow, but I have a feeling they're going to pull through. They honestly, like I said, they don't mind the cold. As long as they don't freeze and we were lucky it wasn't frozen these onions are super cold hardy they don't mind it at all we're gonna get a nice harvest off of those soon i should probably clean them up and i have another thing that i planted before the snow and i knew it was gonna snow and rain and i was okay with that because these are things that can be put into the ground and they're not going to come up for a while and that would be my potatoes i planted all the potatoes what i did was i kind of dug the rows down a little bit put them up onto the beds and i have all these cardboard banana boxes that i just filled the rows with what we're going to do is we're going to actually fill up all of these with wood chips. Yes, it's a lot of wood chips. Thankfully, we have a wood chipper, so we'll be able to do that with lots of trees. But basically, it gets pretty low down in here, so I just wanted to build those walkways up so I'm not having to walk in mud all summer. If you watched my video from last year, I think it was the fall planting video where I'm planting in this bed and I sunk like right up to my shins in the mud. So I'm really hoping this year to avoid that. So we didn't plant anything super fancy for potatoes, just red potatoes, yellow potatoes, and then russet potatoes. I did leave this little block empty. I'm thinking I might put some dill there or something or some flowers, kind of just a little corner bed. And then I still got a lot of stuff to clean up over here. I did get a bunch of it cleaned up and I do want to do a bit of bed reshaping, but again, that's going to have to wait till things dry up. Down here is my other garlic and you can see it too had kind of poked through. And again, it's going to be fine no damage at all it's interesting to see here how all the snow is still left on all of these beds even over here in the potatoes and actually even over here in the beds where i had a bunch of mulch but up top where i have no mulch just the bare soil it's all melted and that is actually one of the reasons why it's a little bit warmer you can plant stuff earlier but also you are going to have to water more in raised beds here it's just going to slowly seep into the ground there's already a lot of saturation in there the mulch actually helps with moisture it holds in more moisture if you just have bare soil that water is just going to drain through really quick and you're going to have to water a lot more up here are these little hens and chicks that's where we got the little transplant from we're going to grab a few more but it's pretty cold hardy too they're a perennial in the area so i'm sure they're used to getting snowed on and of course we always got to show the catnip which my cats have been munching on and it is just growing like crazy still I'm actually thinking I'm going to cover this bed and make this whole bed catnip. I have tulips in here, but for the two weeks you get of them every summer, it's not worth a whole bed. 
just for tulips and nothing is happening over here. We still have probably a few weeks for anything to be going on. And of course we can't forget about all the seedlings they have inside. I potted up most of my tomatoes. There's only a couple left to be potted up. Peppers are next. They need to be up potted really well. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the tomatillos. They've just grown like crazy. I, I don't even know what I'm going to do with those guys. And then just of course a few other random things. And those peppers and tomatoes inside, they'll probably be inside for another couple of weeks and then I will start the hardening off process. Because even with our cool spring, I know that warm weather is just around the corner. So it looks like we got a little bit of a garden tour after all and a seedling update all in one. I would love to hear how your garden is growing and if you've been able to plant anything out in your garden yet. And as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.